welcome to Brush With Art. Today I'm going to paint a sunset, and like a sunset as you probably well know by now. And in the foreground I'm going to have a silhouette of some trees and just a bit of activity on there. Watercolour, using wet or wet technique, but not just wet and wet technique on here. We're going to be using some dry brush techniques as well. And this is moving on to looking at painting trees and painting activity. So there's a few characters in here as well which I'll explain on a later video. If you like the video, please subscribe. Let's get painting. So I'm gonna do a really deep sunset now. So I'm gonna go very vibrant with these colors if I can. And in the foreground, I'm gonna have a contrast with some trees. So I'm gonna get cracking straight away. And what I'm looking to do is to have a, a sun. So I'm gonna do it slightly differently now. I'm gonna start off with yellow. And I'm gonna leave a little area and what I'm not going to do straight away is I'm not going to do wet and wet, so I'm literally just going to go in with, with the yellow. Just streak it across the sky. But I'm just going to leave a space. I'm going to just do a tiny little sun. Just, just using, again, my normal brush. Just make a little circle. Just leaving, leaving the, the whites to show through. That's what I want. Just add a bit more yellow into that. Now the yellow is going to form the base of, of the painting here. I will be adding some red over the top, but we do need that space. You just keep it spread. You don't have to put yellow everywhere. And you can go below the horizon as well if you want to. So now, the top of the page, I want it to be a little bit darker, running down into that sun, if we can. I might even add just a hint, a hint of blue, just into the top part, just into here. A little bit more blue. Now, as we go down the page, I'm just going to add a bit more water into it because I want the water to just start doing the work on here as well. So, but I'm going to be a little bit liberal with it. I'm not going to do a whole wash across. I'm just going to spot it around a bit. I'm going to just get a little bit redder as well, just on top of here. A bit darker on this side of the page, just as it goes away from the sun, just need it to be a tad darker. That's what I want. I'm just I'm kind of just feeling my way around, really. Just as we come across the sun, there might be a few like wispier clouds just. In the sun. Now I'm going to go a little bit bluer at the top. Just to add that nice pinky sunset colour. Just add a little more cloud here. Now I'm just going to add a few more little clouds just across the sun. Not a lot. Just a few. Okay, and I'm going to leave that to dry off. Just going to start adding some trees into here as well. Now, just to give it some perspective. So, let's put a tree here. It's nice and dry now. So, I'm using my smaller brush now. What I'm going to do is just, again, it's just silhouette, so we don't have to be too detailed with the trees. Do all this little section in a minute. Just going to add a bit more. Now, the colour I've got here is kind of a blacky, blacky red. And I'm literally just going to fill my way through the trees. What I mean by that is just don't worry, just let it go. Just, just let it 
dot over, use the brush, use the side of the brush, just flare it a little bit, just to, to give it the feel of the tree. Leave some spaces, let the, the red come through, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go over this again in a minute, but it doesn't matter how high it wants to be. Just, you know, as, it, as you come out to the side of the tree, just let it, just let the brush do the work. It literally is just the silhouette. Just a smaller tree. So about here. Let's do that one. If you wanted to, you could use a thinner brush than this. It's up to you. All I'm doing is just giving the feel of the trees. Just let the brush flare out. As it dries off, you're getting the edgy bits. Okay, I am going to be darkening all this up. branches out there. I don't know, I don't know what it is really, but I'm just kind of adding it all in. Into this mix, maybe a little lower. Slightly smaller tree, this one. Remember, it's just silhouette. Silhouette of a tree. Now, I'm just going to add a bit more depth into this tree now. We don't want it completely black, but we just want to add the dark from one side. So, just add the brush. Do the work. Dabs around there. So, great. Same with here. Just darken up that tree trunk a bit. And then the same with this tree. Actually, I might come back to that one. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my bigger brush, load it with my dark colour. In the foreground. That's wrong. Look at that. Really nice colour that. I will go over this again when it's dry. So let's wait for it to dry. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on the trees, but this time I'm going to use a, a dry brush technique. So with this, I can use my small brush. I'm going to load it with paint. I'm just going to start feeling around the edges of the tree. And because the brush is slightly drier, that's it. Just on this tree, just the outer parts of the tree just as it kind of goes into the sunset. Bigger branch there. And then the same, just on this tree here. So darken that section of the tree. Excellent. Right, get the bigger brush again, just now going to darken up again the foreground. Just really, oh that's lovely, that's what, look at that colour, wow. really does silhouette the page quite nicely. Now I've talked about 
fiddling <laughs> in previous videos, you could easily fiddle with something like this, but we don't want to fiddle too much. Okay. Just let it do what it needs to do. So, so this is not a hugely detailed painting. So I made a little bit of a mistake here. Noticed, so I'm just gonna make the tree a little bit bigger. It's fine, you can do that, you can get away with it. It's your interpretation that counts. Okay. Right, and just to finish it off, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of detail. I'm actually gonna put a couple of people in here. Again, just to give it a bit of perspective. Now remember, it's a silhouette, so we'll talk about people and how to draw people in a later episode. All I'm going to do is just have the shapes. Maybe they're walking a dog. Just a little dog. Again, it's just it's just an interpretation. It gives you an idea. But what that's also doing is giving that picture a little bit of life. I'm just going to just do a little bit of fiddling. I don't like doing a lot of fiddling, but I just want to add another bit of detail. What I'm going to do is just a fence. It's all, it's a broken fence. It's in the distance, so I'm not too fast how it looks. So I'll take it off the page. Okay. So what it is, just gives a little bit of distance. And just on this side, just maybe Wispy bit of grass, something just around that tree. Just to give that a bit of a base. Okay, stop fiddling, Jeff. Stop fiddling. And just the final, final little thing. A very dry brush, but I do like to put my little characteristic birds into the sky. I'm just going to use the brush, that's it, just around the trees, quite a few, a few over here in the distance, maybe a few up and just by the sun, just one in over the sun, or two, doesn't matter what you do, it's up to you. There you go, sunset picture. I hope you've enjoyed that painting. If you have, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon on another video. Have a go, see how you go on.